season and we're actually having to take off early um, we have put in a, a long long September um, and it's it's been fun and uh, we've done we've got on a lot of elk you know compared to other years in this unit um, it just didn't pan out um, this unit's a little bit tough to hunt elk in and uh we've seen i think i counted up we we've seen tons and tons of elk but just i think i've had encounters with three legal bulls um and when i say encounters i'm talking about where you know we were close enough to get a shot and then things just went wrong shot a bull uh what a week or two ago and uh had that problem with that broad end yeah so which another thing about that is we did end up seeing that bull or what i i i'm led to believe was that bull um pretty confidently and uh he's doing fine and he come into uh, a call again like nothing uh nothing was wrong with him we put a lot of work into trying to hunt make a video so uh we, we've had a lot of cool experiences and, and we have a lot of good footage of elk. Um, so that's why we're gonna go ahead and make this video um, and uh, just show some of the cool experiences and run-ins and videos that we got this season. And uh, you know, during the middle of this season, this month, September, we actually had his uh, muzzleloader hunt as well. And uh, that was a little bit unfortunate as well. I'll let him tell you a little bit about it. Uh, well, it was a nine day hunt. I was only able to hunt four days, had a lot of stuff going on. But we got back to our camp, it's 10 miles in the back country, and we had six to eight people from out of state that were kind of doing the back country, just have their tent on their back kind of deal. And they camped right where the elk bed and cross, um, at our backcountry camp. So they blew all the elk out. So anyway, um, long story short, that season wasn't too great either, but uh, it is what it is. And uh, yeah, so we got a, um, actually Todd's got an antelope tag starts tomorrow. He's been trying to draw this tag for like 18, 19 years. So we're gonna close this out. Hope you enjoy this B-roll footage that we got right here. And uh, no elk were harmed in the making of this video. <laughs> Yeah. I'm just now getting in the wood. <laughs> what a view, huh? Trying something new this morning. We're over 11,000 feet. There has been talk that the elk are bugling up high, so we're heading in. Two bulls bugling. We're slipping into them.
Ladies and gentlemen, you know what the orange hat means. <coughs> Day three, we're leaving the tent. Myself. As you already saw, Stephen spotted a bull. I forgot my binoculars this morning, so we got one pair of binoculars, but Stephen spotted a bull made a stalk on it, it was a spike. Got around here, glassed a bunch of cows. So we've been listening and looking in two different canyons, or three really, we just heard our first bugle. So we're fixing to head down in there. Just a minute, it's a bad hole, but man, this is some beautiful country. story so I talked myself out of shooting that um, through before but the last minute I decided to go ahead and bag some meat and uh, he had come into 30 yards and he kind of spooked and ran back dad hit a cow call and he stopped and uh, I gave him every chance in the world to run but I just I uh, ranged him come up on my knees drew my bow back <laughs> just gave him every chance to run uh kind of hoping that he would but he never did and uh so i took took that shot at 42 and i smoked him but i had a malfunction malfunction this broadhead i heard it hit pretty good it would have been a double lung and uh as you can see from the video but uh it hit a rib as soon as it went through the surface it hit a rib completely broke my uh, one of the blades off blade off and then completely bent the blade the other blade and so when it hit and broke what we're thinking is when it broke that blade it twisted and kicked in and i literally got that much penetration yeah it's which, about what is that three inches yeah three and a half inches three and a half inches one two three four five okay um Do you see him? He's breaking.
Oh my gosh. Big bull. Well, guys, we wonder where all the elk are. And then right here on our way to the woods this afternoon, here's what we got. What do you think? Huh? Huh? What do you think about that? Hey, you could have popped that dude, couldn't you? Oh, yeah. Really easy. There we go. We called them all the way back up to us, though.